I'm very grateful for such a kind introduction, nice words. Also feel some sympathy to the audience because you spent all day talking and now somebody else coming and spoiling your dinner and uh, trying to do that at, at least. So really, but good opportunity to meet some, uh, to see some familiar faces. And I really will try to, to say a few words about uh, nuclear safety. It was my topic, but also before, before starting, let me, let me thank and commend uh, the EU Non-Proliferation Consortium and also Mr. Mark Fitzpatrick and his staff for organizing this conference. Thank you very much for this. Uh, let me also, before starting this topic, to say a few words that last week, all of, man, many of us spent in New York in this General Assembly week. It was really very intensive days. And I would say unprecedented developments in United Nations General Assembly. Uh, first diplomacy breakthrough on Syria. And uh, as I said, one day was rapid diplomacy day. It was agreement in Hague on OPCW. And the same day, the evening, uh, Security Council passed resolution on Syria unanimously. The same day. It was really very rapid, very qualitative, expected. Uh, I, I know that maybe some friends from Israel here have a cautious approach, but nevertheless, this is moment, momentum we must take, and I hope they also will agree. It's really important to all of us, it was some kind of breakthrough. Second talks be between EU foreign ministers and high representative Lady Ashton with Minister Zarif, phone conversation between Obama and Rouhani, first since 1979, as all we know, we all took forward to, to, to meetings Look forward to meetings in Geneva, Iranian response to re proposals E3 plus 3, made in Almaty this February. And besides, uh, as presidency of European Council, I had, European Union Council, I had the privilege to represent the Council uh, at a high level discussions on nuclear disarmament in, in New York. Reiterated use strong commitment to the cause and called all in NPT parties to implement all actions designed to strengthen the three pillars of the treaty. Using the opportunity, the EU has also called on states to declare, uphold immediate moratorium on the production of fissile material. The importance of strong EU stance on nuclear disarmament and security should not be undervalued, as well as necessi necessity to obligation for the EU to speak up on these issues in international forum. Now back to my topic, safe and secure development of nuclear energy. Fenia would like to stress the primary role of the International Atomic Energy Agency in reviewing and assessing safety and security of emerging nuclear sites, as well as providing assessment of readiness of the national nuclear infrastructure, maturity of the national regulatory system, safety culture, and etc. We encourage countries to make use of a full range of agencies' services, which is not always done. We also invite uh, agency member states to host integrated regular review service and other peer review missions and to conduct national reviews on a regular basis. In light of the Fukushima accident, EU member states, as many other states, have undertaken as a matter of priority review of the safety of all nuclear power plants within the European Union on the basis of comprehensive and transparent risk and safety assessment, so-called stress tests. Stress tests were over overseen by independent national regulatory, regulatory authorities and reports on the outcomes, subsequent measures were made public, and it's very important. Another vital ele element in ensuring nuclear safety is the dialogue between neighboring countries and application of the national conventions and safety standards in order to avoid eventual negative transboundary impact. From its own experience, Lithuania would stress that the lack of dialogue undermines trust, confidence among neighboring countries ultimately does not help to ensure safety and security of our people, our cities, our countries. Let me add the here that we really do have our national experience. And being as a presence in the Council, European Union Council of Ministers, we also revealing some priorities, and part of them has to do with the energy, energy safety, security, or internal energy market, or I would say external energy policy, which is not easy to do. Usually every country have this national policy, but these issues must be addressed together, jointly, because this is something has no borders. And we do feel that personally very, very painful, I would say. Maybe you know, some of you, your experts, definitely you know, uh, there are few no nuclear power plants building 
on the borders of Lithuania currently. After the commissioning our own one, which was done according to the commitments with regard to the European Union, now we see these two, two nuclear power plants built. And one of them, if it would be in Vilnius now, that would be 30 kilometers to the border with Belarus, from Vilnius, from the capital, and 40 kilometers to the site where Belarus is uh, building nuclear power plant. And some time ago, the president of that country told, uh, look, it's important, but it's too expensive. Build that twice cheaper. And they will do that twice cheaper. What that means with regard to security, you, you can <laughs> know not worse than, than me do. And when we're asking our colleagues and neighbors what are you doing and what that means, they're just smiling and say, look, we're doing everything according to standards. Although they are members of ESPO committee, but they're not following these regulations. Mixing up, not following, not being consistent. But we are patient enough to, to remind them. Uh, personally, I do not believe they're building bomb. Definitely, it's, not, it's too crazy. If it's 40 kilometers from, from Vilnius and 150 from Minsk, it's a big dif difference. It's not a big difference. But nevertheless, uh, you know, we should, the, the point is what I'd like to tell you. These issues, standards, safety standards, uh, and, or, or let's say problems which we are facing nationally, it's not just national. It's something should be shared by all. It's just something should be international because at the end of the day, it, will, it would be, problem will be international. So given, and so to say, respecting all this national autonomy of our, of our policies, including, so to say, energy policy, I still believe that we must develop in the European Union external energy policy, united, address this issue jointly, respect the standards ourselves, but also ask our colleagues and partners to do the same, because otherwise it will be not be consistent and common general picture will not be uh, com completed. So the point was that this, this is issue, something which, which we do, do know uh, uh, personally from our national experience. With this in mind, and many other experts in mind, Lithuania is hosting second ASEM seminar on nuclear safety, International Instruments for Ensuring Nuclear Safety, and will be held 4th, 5th November uh, this year in Vilnius. And also, ladies and gentlemen, the international non-proliferation regime was a useful tool, but it has not prevented proliferation completely, as we all know. So we should further seek to strengthen the NPT regime since it's confronted with a series of challenges, not only from states, but also from non-state actors. Nuclear terrorism, as the risk of non-state actors getting access to nuclear materials, the radioactive sources, represents the most serious threat to international security. For that reason, national, international nuclear security measures must be in place in order to secure nuclear materials and counter illicit nuclear trafficking and nuclear terrorism. Therefore, a global nuclear security framework must be established as soon as possible in order to counter these threats. In this respect, the European Union plays an active role and is a leading player in efforts aimed at strengthening nuclear security worldwide including through its participation in nuclear security summit process, global initiative to combat nuclear terrorism. Union and its member states are key donors to the uh, International Atomic Energy Agency Nuclear Security Fund. With this major support, more than 100 countries have received assistance through this agency. And interestingly, you said itself plays a key role in assisting member states to develop, implement national, regional, nuclear security frameworks. We call on countries which have not done so to adhere to and fully implement international instruments, such as International Convention for Suppression of Acts of Nuclear Terrorism, Convention of the Physical Protection of Nuclear Material, Nuclear Facilities and Amendment, as well as Code of Conduct of Safety and Security of Radioactive Sources. Nuclear Security su Summits in 2010 in Washington to two years later in Seoul laid an important framework to strengthen nuclear security, reducing the threat of nuclear terrorism and secure all vulnerable nuclear material in the coming years. To achieve these goals, we must build an inclusive cooperation among all states where international agency plays the leading role. As a newcomer to the nuclear security summits, Lithuania participated in the Seoul summit in 2012 and supported joint statements on nuclear security training and support centers on activity and cooperation to counter nuclear smuggling. In 2012, Lithuania established nuclear, established nuclear security center of excellence with aim to organize trainings 
for competent national and foreign agencies on countering smuggling of nuclear materials and other sources, ionizing radiation. Uh, since its launch in April last year, the center has already organized 10 training events for more than 200 participants. All of this would be impossible without valuable support of our partners, def definitely. And let me just mention, of course, international agency, then several specialized U.S. agencies, Japan's Integrated Support Center for Nuclear Non-Proliferation, and many, many others. Uh, the center, as I say, said, aims to become a regional institution, so I believe others also can, be, can profit from that in the future. In November this year, an outreach project to Georgia, followed by other countries next year, that also shows the perspectives and interest of others. So we developed a strong institutional framework on nuclear security and continuously work on strengthening uh, capacity. So as I promised not to spoil your dinner, so let me say for the conclusion, I stress to stress that nuclear safety and security will remain Lithuania's priority. Uh, we will continue to be strong and dedicated partner, advocated, advocated globally and, and also regionally. Thank you very much for your attention.